Hi everyone and welcome back to the second video in this series which as of yet is still unnamed but the entire point of it is just to be a little bit chill, a little bit casual, have have more of a, of a sit down chat sort of thing. But anyway, if I have timed this correctly, my previous video that I released should have been my creating fairy wings video and the one just before that should have been the first video in this series. In that first video, I mentioned one of the reasons I was creating this series was to share some of the behind the scenes process with you guys. And that's what I want to do today. When I made the original fairy wings, you can see those hanging out in the, the background over there. When I was making those, one of the things that gave me the most trouble was adding the wire frame. It took me hours to get that done. I think one of the major issues there was I just used the wrong kind of wire because the wire I sort of gathered up was just whatever I could find in my dad's shed. And the wire that I picked for that was quite thick. It was relatively strong, which is why I used it because, I mean, look at the size of those things. It was relatively strong, but it was so hard to bend and work with. Just trying to crochet it to the wings was it was bloody difficult. I did not have a fun time. And now I have reached the same point in the second set of wings that I'm making, which you can see here, the pink ones right behind me. And I'm making those for the written pattern, which I'm working on currently. But I have reached the point where I need to add the wire. And while I am using a different wire and I've already tested the, the bendability of that wire and it's much easier than what I used first, I'm still, I'm still kind of worried. I'm going to struggle with it a little bit. I thought it might be fun if I brought you guys along on the journey with me as I try to add in this wire to my second pair of fairy wings. But also I'll be doing things like taking photos and videos along the way because I will then use those to create the written pattern or finish the written pattern. I've already done, I'd say about three quarters of it. I'm just up to sort of the assembly stage at the moment. So yeah. That's what we're going to be doing today. I don't know if there's going to be much chit chat in this video because to work on these fairy wings, I really need to go over over that side. And I don't know how well the audio is going to turn out because my mic is obviously here. I can't really extend it out much further. But I mean, that's sort of the point of this new series. I'm just going to be trying things out, see how they go. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. First things first, I need to get everything set up. I might have to adjust the camera here slightly because I'm going to have to bring in my big light. I'm going to have to move my chair out the way. That is that is one of the problems with our little craft slash office slash multi-purpose room here is that it does not get natural light. So to compensate for that, I have got bloody lights everywhere. Most of them are just cheapy ring lights, but the big light that I use. Thank you, truck. But I have one big light that I predominantly use and you know, it works pretty well, but the, the downside is that it is rather large, so it takes up a lot of room. That's a bit scary. <laughs> That is really scary. Something tells me that this is not going to work out the way I planned, so I might have to actually set up my proper camera, which is what I wanted to avoid doing in this series. It looks like I might not have a choice. I think we're good to go. Uh, looking at my camera or the display for my camera, things are still looking a little bit bright, but that's just going to have to be the, the case today because the, the main thing is that I have light, enough light on my wings because I need to take pictures, videos of those for the, the written pattern. What my face looks like doesn't matter. It's the wings that are important. So I have everything I need to get started. I think my lights are good. I've got my second camera, which is, which is the phone I use. I have my pattern up so I know what pictures and video I need to take. So let's just get started. And as I say that, I just heard a van pull up, so it's possible there's a delivery here, and I can hear Jasper barking. So I'll take care of that, and then we will get started. Yep, coming. That's taken care of. 
let's get started. I'm really hoping this, this won't be as much of an uphill battle as the original wings were. But as I said before, that was that was really my fault. I did use the worst possible wire. Okay. All right, I'm gonna start with the right wing. So you can go over there for now. So the first picture I need to take is of inserting my hook into the wing. So let's get that in there. Oh, God. And then, where's my wire? Don't tell me I, no, it's on the floor. It's, never mind, I got it. I got it. Of course, where else would it be? Why wouldn't you keep wire on the floor? I don't think this is going to be as bad, but it's not going to be fun either. So I need to leave a little tail at the start here. So I want to bring in that. And where's my measuring tape? Right behind me. I need about seven centimeters here. of lining up the wire along the inner edge of the wing. So I'm going to have to zoom out here. And now comes the fun part where I've got to try and crochet the wire to the wing. Yarn over. I'm going to pull through. Yarn over again. And then slip stitch to join. And then we're just going to continue to single crochet the wire to the wings. So this is in theory really easy. You just have to single crochet around the entire outside of the wing. But in practice, it's a little bit, a little bit more difficult when you've got to single crochet the wire to the wing. And you know what's something handy to do that I have learnt so far in my admittedly short amount of time making written patterns is to always check ahead. Make sure you know what the next step is, what you need to take a picture or a video of next, just in case. It's good to have that knowledge in your back pocket. So after I take some video, some pictures of continuing to single crochet down here, the next one I need to do will be to single crochet until row 32 and then start curving the wire. Okay. Okay. Crochet to round 32, and round 32 is where the where the color changes begin, or rather where the black color change begins, all the way down here. So we want to make sure we're recording for that. So we crochet to to round 32, and then we need to curve the wire around the bottom of the wing. And this is going to be the big test, trying to to curve this wire. This did not go well last time. Uh, probably should have recorded that. Looking back, it was hilarious, but at the time it was extremely frustrating. Extremely frustrating. There may have been a temper tantrum or two involved. Then we want to curve the wire around the bottom of the wing here, which that is so much easier than the original wire I used. Maybe this won't end up taking eight hours to finish. I want to get a shot of that. All right, you can see everything there, that's good. And then we're going to curve the wire back up the other side of the wing. And from here, that's all we're going to do. We're going to continue slowly bending the wire to fit the shape of the wing and just crochet it to the wing as we go. So 
I'm going to continue crocheting down the down this side or the side of the inner edge here and then I'll go around the bottom up the other side and continue all the way around uh, and this is where it gets hard because as I move this wire this wire moves but then if I move this wire this wire moves I'm having flashbacks upcoming first big test I need to bend the wire around this sharp corner I'm gonna need a stitch marker for this one let's see if we can do this on the first go not holding out much hope uh, it's not too bad. That wasn't too bad actually. Definitely much easier. Definitely much easier than the first go. Let's make sure we get a good shot of that. And back, back to the crochet. Another sharp turn, another sharp turn coming up. We're going to hook around to the left. <laughs> hook around. I've done about half of the wing maybe maybe two-thirds of the wing just over half but I need to stop and take a break so this is my reminder to all of you out there if you've been sitting down for too long you haven't had a drink of water in a while go do that have a stretch and then we can come back and we'll finish off this this first wing I'm hoping to get the second wing done today and then later on after I've had a, a fairly decent break I want to try and crochet them together because once the wire is in the next step is it's fairly straightforward it just involves a little bit of crochet and some elastic basically a bit of sewing too there's a bit of sewing just picking up where we left off don't have too much more to do and these corners here as i said earlier they are a lot easier than this section here the wire bends a lot easier and there's just more room to work. So doing this this section, though it's larger, is, has actually been easier than this section here. Just checking the the next set of photos that I need for the pattern. So I want to make sure I get a shot of curving the wire up and over the top of the wing. And then just crochet my way back to the start here. Not much left to go for this wing. And it has been so much easier. I can't stress how much easier this one has been than the last one. Uh, I, I'm kind of regretting now that I didn't film that one. Although Though I probably couldn't put that up on YouTube anyway, what with all the swearing that was involved. And we want to curve this wire. Ugh. I'm gonna have to stand up for this one because I am getting in the way of the wing. Yarn out the way. I'm gonna curve you up and over. We're getting there. We're on the home stretch now. I've just got to crochet from this point to this point. Okay, what do I need to do to finish off here? I need to get the, the last single crochet. So the last one I do to, before I finish off here, I need to leave another wire tail and then I need to cut the wire. So really I need to get three more shots to finish this, this portion of the pattern. That's the first wing. The first wing done and that didn't take anywhere near as long as the original wings. Like that literally took me 
all day just to get the wire in. I struggled that much with it. But there, if I hold them up in the center, you can see they sort of, they maintain their shape. Now I want to do that whole thing again, but with the second wing. But I really need to take a, a decent break first. Yeah, that definitely, definitely isn't good for me leaning over the table like that. And I need to give my shoulder a break anyway. But I'm, yeah, I'm happy with that. This is not going to take nearly as long as I feared it would. So I might, I might even be able to finish, finish these off today, which will make my niece excited. I think she's coming over this afternoon after my, my sister picks up her brothers from school. So if I can give these to her then, there'll be one very excited little kid. Break first. I might need to charge the camera as well, actually, and then we can do wing number two. And we're back and I'm going to get started on this second wing straight away. This one shouldn't take nearly as long because for the first one, I sort of broke the, like the pattern down into smaller steps. So people who get the pattern can sort of see what I'm doing as I go. But because we're going to attach the wire to the second wing, the exact same way that we attach the wire to the first wing, with the exception being we're working in the opposite direction, but it's the technique still remains the same. Because that's the case, I don't need to take as many photos or video because it's just, it's kind of superfluous to do that because I'd just literally be repeating the same thing if I do that. So I don't need to take as many of those. I'm just going to take a few at various stages. So there's still some there, you just don't need the whole step-by-step -step process because we already did that. We did that for the first wing. So I will get started with, with the second wing. Well, I'm happy with the progress I made today. I managed to get in both, both bits of wire. I was going to try and finish these today, but I think if I did that, that'd be pushing it a little bit. I'm sort of nearing my limit. I really need to go and give my back a good stretch because I can feel the cramps coming on. And also like my shoulder needs a break as well. So I'll probably just finish these off tomorrow. I really don't have all that much to do. I just need to attach the wings I need to join those together. Then I need to add the elastic to create the harness. And I just crochet sort of like a little, a little covering for that. So you can't see the, the mess of the wire and the tape. Really not all that much I have to do. So I'm hoping, because as of filming this, what's today? I don't even remember what today is. I think it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Doesn't matter. Anyway, I've got a couple of days until the fairy wing video actually goes out. So I'm hoping to have the pattern done in time for that. That's going to be my goal. But if I don't manage to hit that, it will be out either the day after that and at a stretch even the second day after that. But it shouldn't even take that long. Break for now. Finish that tomorrow. And I might even bring you guys back and we can do a bit of the, the written pattern together. The written pattern is all typed up. I just have to add the remaining photos. Well, I was just editing this video and I need to admit, I may have forgotten that I promised to work on the pattern with you guys. Just totally flew out of my mind, never gave it a thought. But at this point, I have, I have finished the wings. I mean, you can see the big ones in the background, you know what they look like. And also at this point, as of recording this, the fairy video has been out for a day, two days, something like that. But yes, it's already up, so you may have already seen them in action. But yeah, these are the second pair I made. I really, really do like this pattern. Though, as I mentioned in the original Fairy Wing video, there are certainly some improvements I can make. Overall, it's quickly become one of my favorite patterns to have ever designed. I'm looking forward to one day being able to make not only some improvements, but some adjustments to maybe try some different styles. A lot of you had great ideas in the comments. You had too many good ideas, in fact, because now I want to make all of them. But unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do, to do that at the moment. But anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you're enjoying this more laid back, casual sort of series. I am planning to make a few more of these and we'll just, we'll see how we go from there. But yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, share it if you think it's worth sharing, and I will see you in the next one.